welcome back, Adventures. As you know, all the theme parks are shut down here in SoCal, so I don't really have anything to film. But I do have a big surprise for you, and I'm really stoked <laughs> about this, because who I'm about to introduce you to is one of my really, really good friends. And we did a collaboration last year. If you guys saw it, then you know who he is. If you guys didn't see it, I'll link it down in the description, bro. Okay, while I was driving on the 5 freeway today, there were signs up that said, coronavirus, uh, stay safe, don't, don't be a part of gatherings. So I decided to play it safe and go someplace where nobody gathers. Downtown Disney. <laughs> Now I realize this whole coronavirus thing is nothing to joke about, but you gotta live your life. And this is the first day that Disneyland's been closed. Tomorrow Disney World will be closing. And that makes every single Disney park in the world closed because of this virus. This is the Braille map. Beauty and the Beast built completely out of Legos. Just chilling for a minute. Might be meeting somebody here. Be a fun day. We'll explore. Oh, knee killing me. Anyway, my uh, trip this week into California is basically just to screw around and get away from Vegas. That's what we're doing. This is the third destination I've been at, and um, there will be more. Content. Content. I'm wondering how many, how many uh, Disney vloggers that can't get into the park that are always in there on Saturdays are here today. So we're gonna scout some out. There's uh, Fresh Bake, Justin Scarred. Um, Adam the Woo is sometimes here. I got my eye open for him. Maybe I bump into him. I won't bother them like so many others do, but if I see him, I might say hi. Gonna get my Starbucks. It's starting to get windy and I didn't bring my coat with me. Ooh, I hope this wasn't a bad idea. And I use an SL2 and it's not weather sealed and looks like the rain is about to head this way. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, we're gonna have fun. Yeah, I see a lot of scared people. <laughs> Actually, I see a lot of people that probably have rooms here that can't get into the park today, and this is all they have to do. All right, so I'm at downtown Disney, minding my own business, just kind of looking around, and look who I happen to bump into. Hey! <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Alan from Adventures with the Best Kids. Nice seeing you guys. His channel's always been linked in my description, so make sure you guys check that out and we're going to go explore and see what kind of shit we can yes. get into. <laughs> Woo. Check out the professional vlogger with a switch pod. He's got his M50. He's styling now. <laughs> All right, if these two lovely ladies aren't worried about the coronavirus, you shouldn't be either. Hi ladies. <laughs> By the way, that was Alan's joke. I just stole it from him totally. <laughs> I gotta, we gotta walk into some of these stores, man, because yeah. that's the whole purpose of I know, right? <laughs> All right, so this is place is called Home. It's one of those places that you can buy uh, home decor, stuff for your kitchen, and it's not all cartoony. So let's take a look. Aprons. I think these are... Nope, see they're glass. I don't know how much the price is on them though. Maybe there's a price on the bottom. Uh, for this set of four, they are $34.99. Not very big, but. This is more my style here, where it's not so in your face Disney, but 
a little bit of class. Yeah. Very cool. I would absolutely love to have this sign in my house. It is $150. And this one is $125. But then again, that would be amazing to have hanging on my wall too. Subtle. <laughs> Yet huge. Kind of a neat little cooking effort. Now there's a restaurant here in Disneyland where the kids are given a pallet and they can make their own pizzas, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches. And that's kind of what that is a throwback to. Actually really cool. Salad bowl. There's porcelain or china or whatever it is. Of course in Disneyland you can get just about any kind of coffee mug you can think of with every single character. And they're pretty reasonably priced. Even though I don't see the price on this. Hmm. I don't know what it is. So here's a little mermaid. Baby Yoda is $39.99. What do you got? There's these pets back here. Oh, the pets. Oh, those little pet clothes? No, no. Yeah. Oh, those are pet clothes. Wow. That's cool. You get your pet like R2-D2 and Sully from Monsters, Inc. Wow. That's crazy. How much are these? This is an extra large called Disney Tales. And it's $40. $39.99. So it's $40 to dress your dog like Mickey Mouse. And there's your Minnie Mouse. Very cool. Kenny is plump. Sarah, Sally, Slater, Hatbox Ghost. What's the Hatbox Ghost? Here holds the spirit of the Hatbox Ghost. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's just a container. I don't know what the price is. Maybe it's one of the other ones. Nope. There's no. The Hatbox Ghost figurine is $75, which is him. Coffee mugs are awesome. Okay, now I've been in this store a million times and I've always wanted one of these Cogsworth clocks. I think they're really cool. How much is he? I don't know why they can't put price tags on these things. I don't know how much he is. Try again. Well, Lumiere is $55, so I'd imagine Cogsworth is somewhere in that ballpark. There. Rub, 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 rub. The lad's lamp is $39. Come on, focus. Your focus, you need a more focus. $39.99. We're going to sneak up on Alan now. There he is. <laughs> so, this is kind of just one of those days where I knew I was going to meet up with Alan and I wanted to hang out. We've been wanting to hook up and do some kind of collaboration now for over a year. Yeah. yeah. However, however long I've been on YouTube, well, it hasn't been a year. I've only been on YouTube in 10 or 11 months, so yeah, almost the whole time. Here. Yeah, coming up on a year. Yeah. So basically, that's what we're doing. I've been here a million times. I've seen all these shops. You guys probably have too, especially if you watch Disney vloggers, yeah. who I'm on the lookout for, by the way. <laughs> they should be here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so the people behind me are watching me. You see? So talking to your camera, and people think you're. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Something with a Disney name is actually open. Okay, if ever there was a store, a Disney store, that had everything, or if ever there was a store where you needed to find something Disney, no matter what it was, this is the store. This is the world of Disney and if you can think of it and they make it, you're going to find it here. 
it's pretty amazing actually from toys to clothes to jewelry to watches movies it's all here and i'm just going to kind of cruise through it a little bit and show you around because it's really really too much for me to go more than that we could be here for the next 20 years looking at prices Okay, you can buy your very own Disneyland monorail, which would be awesome because I'm still a big kid and it even has my age group, five plus. I'm the plus part. And it is no price. Why can't they put prices on these things so I know how much they cost? It's crazy, probably a hundred bucks. Well, there's no price on the Disneyland monorails, probably so you don't have a heart attack in the store. But also, there's the Disneyland Railroad. A little bit better light on this one, I think. Probably no price on that either. You know, even though I'm out and I'm having a good time with Alan, it's a ridiculously sad day, and I'm about to show you why. Especially from someone like me, who used to be an annual pass holder here. Something like this kind of tugs a little bit, but I'm gonna show you right now. This is Disneyland, and it's empty. No in, no out. Sad day, people, sad day. California Adventure Park. The monorail runs right here above me. And there's the entrance to Disneyland. Nobody's here. Well, there's people walking around taking pictures. It kind of looks like there was somebody like trying to camp out in front. Got a long time to camp. This place isn't opening up again until March, if even then, if this uh, whole COVID-19 thing doesn't turn into the freaking zombie apocalypse first. All right, so I think that's going to probably do it for my walk around Disneyland today in downtown Disney. Um, as you can see, it's, 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 I wouldn't say it's dead, but it's dead. Yeah. I mean, it's closed. Yeah. There's a lot of people here, but I, I think they're all grasping the hope. <laughs> the park way open again. But anyway, this is Alan from uh, Adventures with the Best Kids. He is linked in my description and has been for a very long time. Go check out his channel because he is going to be the, and I'm not going to shoot at any names, but he's going to be the Knott's Berry Farm guy. You know, there's some really big Disney vloggers. He's going to be that guy because his channel is that good. So make sure Absolutely. you guys check him out. I appreciate it, man. man. Yeah, I had a, it was yeah, a brother. pleasure meeting you. Heck I had a yeah, great, man. great I'm time. I'm so glad I finally met you. And I guess in October, we're going to do some haunts in Vegas, and that's going to be the fun trip. Yeah. So... Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Check out his channel, and I'll see you guys next time. As you can see, nobody is afraid of anything. They're out, they're about, they're shopping, they're eating. Everybody's having a good time. Got to live your life, people. That's all there is to it. Can't live in fear. So here I sit in the Grand Californian Hotel at 3200 ISO on my fat ass because I'm tired and I gotta walk all the way back to the car. Can't think of a better place to relax though. Wish I was staying here. And if you ever get the chance, I suggest that you stay here too. It's pretty awesome. If Disneyland ever opens again. I'm telling you people, it's zombie apocalypse. It's about to happen. <laughs>